Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, they're dead. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Tiny Sailor's World. And in today's video, we're gonna be checking out a brand new update. See ya guys, let's get into the video. Now before we spawn anything, here are the three new vehicles and vessels that have been added to the game. We have a B-17, the Bon Typhoon, I'm pretty sure the pronunciation on that is completely botched, and the Blue Maryland. So yeah, really cool, but let's go ahead and start with the Blue Maryland, something that I actually know a little bit about. Now here we have the Blue Maryland. This is the sister ship to the Black Maryland, and these ships serve awesome purposes, and I'll show you why in a second here. So these ships are actually used for salvage and construction. And whenever you need to lower something into the water or you're salvaging something, i.e. the Soul Ferry, that's what one of these ships was used for. Oh my gosh, well, there goes a B-17 bomber. But anyways, these ships would actually be lowered into the water like this. You would put whatever you're salvaging onto the deck of the ship, then raise it back up and sail off. So it makes things a little safer, a little easier. And in the case for salvage, it makes things super, super easy because all you have to do is raise it onto the deck underwater to start with. Then you can slowly, carefully, and controllably lift it out of the water using the flotation system, which is the ship. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get moving here. Now, unfortunately, when we press Z, it doesn't give us an option or give us anything to add on to the deck of the ship. What would be really cool is that they actually had something that you could put onto the deck of the ship. Now, I don't know, and I don't actually think that this would work in multiplayer, and by multiplayer, obviously, we're in multiplayer, but I don't think it would work if you were able to just put something on the deck, like another person's ship, and then raise up. I don't think that would be possible, but, um, yeah, if you want to give it a try, good luck, and let me know how it goes in the comments. So, yeah, oh my gosh. Well, they're dead. Now, look at that sunset there. Very, very nice. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, this ship is going to sink. Now, I don't know if I really want to sail this to a port, but we're heading towards Cape Town anyways, so we might as well go there. So, yeah, we do travel at a speed of 14 knots, so not very fast, but these ships aren't really designed for speed. They're designed for safety. Now, another thing that these ships are used for is for carrying large loads. So you don't actually have to submerge the vessel to use it. So you can put a bunch of ship hulls on it and actually sail it off to a destination. Actually, Sinking Ship, the classic Roblox game, actually has one of these ships in it, and it carries a bunch of other smaller ships on it, which is really interesting, and I have done a video on it, so a link will be in the top right corner, so check it out. Now I'm wondering, can we sail while this thing is submerged? Oh my gosh, we can. You should not do this ever. This is terrible for the ship's uh, structure and stability. You're really only supposed to be sitting this thing in the water when you're stable. This just looks hilarious. Oh my gosh. It just looks like two blocks come. Well, that's what it is. It is just two blocks coming out of the water. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. Oh, there goes another B-17. Now, while we're sailing here on our very long and slow journey to Cape Town... Uh, I do want to take a look at some of the deck details. So, as you can see, we have a bridge. It's nicely done with those giant bridge wings, which are accurate. That is correct to how these ships look in real life. And we have some lifeboats on the deck. And for people thinking that it is lacking in lifeboats, nope, that is completely adequate. This ship wouldn't have a lot of crew passengers, so that's to be expected that there's only two boats. And if we look on the bow, we have some winches, which is good, and some bollards. So, very nice. Oh, and we just struck a mine. I don't think we have to worry. These modern ships have many compartments to hold back. How? What? I have to be the most unlucky person in the world to strike two mines in a row in quick succession. I don't know. I'm just going to embrace it. Here we are. We're going down by the bow, and I'm pretty sure we're going to sink very soon. But what's really interesting... Something I am going to take away from this that is positive is that usually a lot of ships in this game, you strike two mines, you're done. The first one's going to damage you, the second one is going to take you down. In this case, we are sailing here perfectly fine after striking two mines. Very interesting. And I'm pretty sure I know why we struck two mines. Our ship is so wide. I mean, look at this. We're like double the width of the Titanic here. 
So, maybe that's why? I don't know. But we are going down. Um, I'm thinking we might as well go ahead and scuttle the ship here. So let's go ahead and do sink by the bow. A nice traditional sinking. It is in a storm as well, but uh, let's see what happens here. I'm going to jump ship. And luckily our lifeboats are getting away, so that is good. Whoa, did the lighting change? I could be just seeing things here, but that looks really interesting. Oh, look at that! There's a control station on the stern. That's really cool. And she's going down and going down quick now. Yep, completely gone vertical. It's very difficult to see, but uh, yeah, she's completely vertical. And she's going down. Well, there goes the Blue Maryland. Wait a minute. Why are they calling it the Blue Maryland? It's orange. I don't know. I didn't name the ship. So, yeah, as you can see, she's slowly but surely going down. And, um, yeah. Very expensive loss, I would say. Very, very expensive. But I am really excited to move on to the next ship. Um, it's going to be really, really interesting. And, um, it's somewhat a combination between a ship and a submersible. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so here we have the name I'm not going to pronounce, Typhoon. Now, this ship looks really interesting, and not for the reasons that you would expect. This ship reminds me of one of the vessels in the film, The Big Broadcast. Out of my way before I hit somebody! <laughs> So I'll put a picture up on screen now so you have some reference for it, but yeah, this looks super, super interesting, and I'm really excited to try it out. I don't know if this is based off that ship in particular, but it just reminds me of that so much. So yeah, let's get a move on here. So here we go. We're going uh, at full speed here, and I'm pretty sure we're going to go ahead and head for a long distance port, and I think... Let's go ahead and head for Halifax. So, yeah, it's not too, too far away, but it's a nice distance. So, yeah, let's go there. We are moving super fast. 30 knots is very quick. Now, since this is also a submarine, we can dive, which is crazy. Now, that's something that the ship in the film, The Big Broadcast, could not do. So, yeah, but i rather stay on the surface for this voyage. I think... It's just a little nicer, but we are really scooting along here. I mean, look at this. We are going fast, and um, yeah, I guess that's just one of the benefits on being on a futuristic ship. Now, I'm pretty sure at this speed, our travel time is going to be cut significantly because, I mean, we're going so fast. Now, this vessel does have traditional propellers, and um, yeah, that's interesting. Now, I do have to mention that this ship seems very small uh, compared to some of the ocean liners, which is interesting, um, and it's probably what's uh, making it seem like it's going so fast, but uh, yeah, we're just going to hope that we don't hit a mine or something, but uh, our size might help with that. Oh, that's new. I'm going to zoom in here, but as you can see, Rio now has an added bit to its name here, Stopover Mini Port. So, that is really cool, and I'm actually glad that they added that because it brings a little more context to it so, you know, that you don't get confused, you can't spawn there and whatnot. But I do know that in this update, there are some new islands. Now, I probably will not check them out in this video, but I definitely will check it out in the next video I do on Tiny Sailor's World. So yeah, really cool. Oh my gosh, we might actually go ahead and just pass by Halifax and go straight to Southampton. Because originally, I was just thinking, oh, if we get to Halifax, it's going to take a while. But no. We are, like, almost halfway there, so getting to Southampton won't really be a problem either. With these speeds, I mean, we'll be there very quickly. Hey, look at that! There's another ship. Let's go ahead and take a detour. Let's take a look at what ship that is. Looks like the Queen Elizabeth. Might be wrong. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is the Queen Elizabeth. Let's go ahead and say hello. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful looking ship. I do think the Queen Elizabeth is one of the nicest looking ships by Cunard, I should mention. But it is really nice. I do see two new mini ports right over here. So that is definitely something we might check out with the B-17, but then we'll check it out in depth when we sail to it in the next episode. So yeah, 
But um, Halifax should be appearing very soon. I mean, we are getting there quite quickly now. Now, one of the things I do appreciate about this game is that they're constantly updating it with new ships and whatnot. It does take a month or two in between updates, but it's really, really awesome to see that it keeps getting these new vessels and whatnot because the more vessels that are out there, the more variety that it gives us. And that is awesome. So, yeah, really cool. Look at that beautiful sunrise. We are listing over to our starboard side slightly, but no worries about that. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. There it is. Coming out of the fog. We are at Halifax. And we are just going to speed by and head towards Southampton. Because, uh, yeah, it is uh, not so far away when you're inside the typhoon. So, yeah, not the storm, obviously. I mean, the submarine slash ship. While we're sailing along here, I think it would be a good time to learn how to pronounce that name. And I'm pretty sure, after a significant time studying it, it's Bohen. Or maybe it's Bowen. No, I'm pretty sure it's Bohen. Because it's an H, but maybe the H is silent. And look at that, we are approaching Southampton fast. The entrance, uh, which is marked by these mountains here, is clearly visible at this stage, so, uh, yeah, very, very cool. We are almost there. And we're here. We are at Southampton in record time. So let's go ahead and sink this vessel. So all you have to do is click sink slash crash animation. So here we go. That was very quick, folks. That was incredibly quick. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the... Whoa. Is that debris? Oh, at first, I thought it was confetti, but in reality, that was a bunch of people. All right, so here we have the B-17, the new aircraft added in the recent update. And we are going to go ahead and fly to Castaway K. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Now, the question is, does this B-17 have other liveries? Nope, just this one. So, just like the 747, it is a single livery vehicle. So, yeah. Oh, what's that down there? Oh, it's just a burning oil rig, like usual. All right, so we're going to dive down a little bit here. We do want to get down and actually see it. We do have some fog here, so uh, yeah, we want to watch out for that. And we want to make sure we don't hit the water as well. So there's the water. It is getting dark, so uh, let's see if we can get there while we still have some light. Still not seeing anything. Oh, is that a ship? Looks like there's a ship nearby. Oh, yeah, there is a ship there. Very cool. All right. Yeah, oh, wow. The SS United States is here. I was looking at the ship to the right, but here is Castaway K. And very interesting. There's a lot of ships here. So, yeah, we got the uh, the Disney cruise ship here as well as the SS United States. So, very cool. So, uh, now there's another stop of report, and that is Sydney. So, we're going to go ahead and fly over there. Okay. Very cool. So, let's take a look here. Oh, wow. Very nice. Wow. That is really nicely done. Oh, my goodness. So that pretty much does it for today's episode. We got to see the new islands. We got to see the new vessels and, well, vehicles because there's an airplane involved. And, yeah, really cool. We will definitely return to these islands with ships next time around, but, um... Yeah, now there's only one thing to do. We have to crash, and I'm thinking that little ship right there could uh, use some crashing into, and boom. Well, we missed it slightly, but uh, there we go. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.